What's up guys, this is Crown Leech and welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna go and tame the Griffin. But before we need to do that, or we're able to do that, we're gonna have to build a little trap, a little big trap for the Griffin. So guys, get four dinosaur stone gateways, put them together, close enough to each other for, to keep the Griffin inside. And for you to be able to get out of the trap okay right like that okay there's enough space for us to fit through but not for the griffin and then you're gonna put the reinforced doors on the very first frame and the very last frame and then you're gonna have to go and look for the griffin and get its attention shoot it with something for it to follow you to the trap a few fun facts about the griffin guys they did not exist they were mystical creatures and the griffins were known to pull the carriages of both apollo and nemesis as well as being the hounds of zeus due to this they are associated with the sun and retribution respectively guys griffins are made up with the hind end body tail back legs of a lion and the head, front talons and wings of an eagle. Because of this, they are able to fly and have superhuman strength. And thus also made them the king of birds and the king of beasts. Guys, and the griffin were also, apparently horses were scared of the griffin. Uh, griffins hold symbolic powers in many cultures around the world. The griffin originated from ancient Egyptian art. In Egyptian culture, the griffin was assumed to resent power and prestige as it appeared on high end cosmetic palettes and jewelry cards. So the griffin was also known to protect the treasures of the kings. They were protectors. And very very powerful as people believed in those days. The griffin is awesome guys no matter whether it existed or not and whoever thought this out was just an awesome artist with a huge huge imagination but this creature is all over in medieval times in Egyptian times Everywhere it was seen or represented, and it represented power, guys. So this griffin is almost out. And then we're going to give him some... A little risky ball, guys. So let's just shoot it. Going to take a few more arrows, guys. More than just three. I've edited this video. gonna have to be a level 85 or higher for it to respect you and time or guys you're gonna have to go out by the pass and get the crown for it to respect you on a lower level take some soothing balm with guys or your name is gonna have to correspond with the griffin's name the last two to four letters are gonna have to correspond with the griffin's name as well as your name so if your name ends with na the griffin's name needs to end with na guys take some soothing balm with you it's gonna be a while guys it's not gonna be six minutes but it's probably gonna take you more or less 45 to an hour to um time it take enough kibble with you or take enough biotoxins with you and go check out my video on the allosaurus how to make the kibbles all right and that's it guys you're gonna wait a few minutes it's probably gonna be dangerous wherever you tame the griffin um, make sure the area is nice and clear and clean for it to tame safely um, and you know make sure you've got enough food and water here is the location where, you, where i usually hunt for the griffins um, but they are always here and maybe you can get a high level who knows so let's just 
wait a little while, guys. It's gonna take you a few, guys. It's gonna take you about three. If you, depends on what you're gonna time it on. Um, strength arrows, strength darts. It depends. But it's gonna take you more or less a hell of a lot of strength arrows to take it on. Keep an eye on it, itself. Okay, well, guys. This griffin is tamed. It's a male. And yeah, we've got our very first griffin, guys. This is Grand Leech, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go check out my other videos. And I'm gonna see you guys in the movies. Enjoy your evening. Wow, awesome. Bye.